Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke today. We're over in chapter, over one more notch. Cha-ching! We're in chapter 18 now, verses 1 to 8. Let's read this story. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not lose heart, saying, There was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God nor regard man. Now there was a widow in that city, and she came to him, saying, Get justice for me from my adversary. And he would not for a while. But afterward he said within himself, Though I do not fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she weary me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. And shall God not avenge his own elect to cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? So notice the lesson from Jesus. There's a lady, she's just a, a widow, she's, she doesn't have any power, any money, but she does. <laughs> and she needs justice done to her. And she, what she has is a persistent spirit. She, she does, she's nobody to this guy, and he won't give her any justice. But she keeps coming relentlessly, day after day. And finally, even though it tells us his motives are not to do right, his motive, he's not afraid of God or man. But you know what? It's so irritating. He's so worn out by this persistence of this, of this widow. So the message isn't about that God is like that that unjust judge. No, God is the opposite of him. God is totally just. He's a very just judge. And in his mercy, he's glad to give us justice right away. Shall not God then even be more aggressive in answering his prayer than the unjust judge? You had to be convinced that it's in his personal best interest to get rid of this frustration, this this irritation, that he's going to go ahead and give her justice. God is totally different from that. So, And then he says, nevertheless, when I when I come, will I find faith on the earth? So that's the question. It, we should be seeking him. We should be diligent in prayer. Diligent. Remember Lot's wife? She turned back. She should have been diligent in trusting. And for us, friend, let us trust in him. He will speedily deliver us. And so we can trust in him. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for your great mercies. Please watch over us. We look to you, Lord. You're our king. You're our leader. Help us to be persistent in seeking your will, and Lord, you'll come through. Thank you for hearing our requests, Lord. Bless us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. God is, is very good. He's not like the unjust judge. He's ready to bless you.